You're f***ing disgusting. You're ugly. You're fat. You look like a reptile. My lip filler is worth more than you, you f***ing worthless Your trash bet. At least I'm not f***ing poor. At least I'm not f***ing poor. F***ing ratty bitch. You actually look deformed, <laughs> and I think you're a okay. special needs. Uh, I'm not even kidding. Are you Says wearing a wig? Take off your wig. Take off your wig. I don't need Take. It hair. is a More wig. Oh my god, that's embarrassing. Mm. Not the cancer. You have <laughs> cancer. You are such a loser. How pathetic can you be? You're fat, you're ugly, you look deformed, you're poor, and you have cancer and no hair, and your wig's crooked by the way fix up i wonder if you're the worst person i've ever met at a certain age it's hard to recall but the truly vile do stand out through the years you have no support not anymore the rest of your family have abandoned you the people despise you you're surrounded by enemies thousands of them i'm not sorry i didn't do anything i literally didn't even do anything do you guys really want me to apologize do you really want me to apologize because if you guys really want me to apologize then i'll f do it but just know that it's gonna be fake what's going on everyone jeremy here from the quartering and with the advancements of the cell phone and uh high speed internet connections there is very little barrier to just about anybody be able being able to put themselves out online. And uh, that includes some truly vile people, people that would take advantage of others, people that really, really hate themselves and feel like, you know, hey, this is this is an OK thing to do. You know, this is OK for me to uh, be awful because. I'm awful and I feel awful about myself and being awful to others makes me happy. Um, there's been no shortage of people who have taken advantage of this on purpose for some level of fame. The most recent uh, successful grift was a Twitch streamer by the name of Invader V who berates her followers, who berated her followers back in April uh, for not being able to support her to give her money saying if you can't afford a twitch subscription you should go get a job well i suppose that's kind of right but also uh not uh, something you say to your twitch viewers you have to earn a subscription on twitch just like i hope i earn yours if you aren't currently subscribed there's a red subscribe button down below really trying to start picking up some momentum again and i can't do it without all of you uh now Ultimately, though, uh, I will say this was an act for her. It worked beautifully. Um, and this article from thegamer.com was really one of the only ones that saw through it at the time. The Findom e-girl experience she peddles on Twitch. Invader V's apology is a mask for that. Twitch streamer Invader V caught some flack for recent insulting comments, but it might just be the kind of thing her fans are looking for. The Twitch streamer itself proclaimed virtual girl next door at your fingertips uh, said she began today's stream with an apology for the tone deaf and sensitive and stupid comments she made about the financial situation of her viewers that can't or don't give her subs. None of this behavior, though, is out of character for her, and despite her attempt to, quote, take ownership of her comments in today's apology, this type of financial shaming is not at all out of place for V's stream. In fact, she has cultivated a core audience that expects and may even desire this type of uh, meanness from her. In a twisted way, all the pushback to V's comments have been nothing more than unwitting kink shame. Invader V wasn't the biggest name on Twitch before all the drama. She's best known for calling her stream the Blanket Fort. An unnatural way she sits to show off maximum amount, maximum amount of thigh approved by Twitch's terms of service. She speaks eloquently, if not always succinctly, with a perfect diction about nerd culture, social science, and politics. She condescendingly, she's condescendingly adorable, smugly charming, and everything she says is steeped in innuendo. She has a pseudo-intellectual shtick that complements her hyper-spicy persona, Twitch's very own spicy librarian. Now, it goes on to talk about how this is, in fact, her thing. And all of the um, drama farming, you know, you see Bad Bunny in the art of drama farming. 
If this whole story giving you deja vu, you probably remember Bad Bunny's nearly identical rant in January. She went off on her audience for not giving her enough subs, and all the Twitch had a field day mocking her entitled attitude. The recent incident made this week's incident with Invader V get even bigger, which led to every major streamer once again to weigh in. Again, there's no such thing as bad press. Now, this particular article is just getting brought up. Uh, uh, a, a Someone who has one of those fans accounts uh, named Tessa um, berated, allegedly, a cancer patient for 10 minutes in viral Omegle video. I've never used Omegle. All I've ever seen of it is that it's full of dongs. Is there any other value to it than that? I don't, I don't get it. Um, but an influencer is receiving backlash after going after an alleged patient for nearly 10 minutes on Omegle, calling the individual deformed, poking fun at their physical appearance and repeatedly calling them fat and ugly. The entire video is here. I'm not going to play it because it's full of big IQ words that uh, YouTube doesn't like. The influencer whose name is, I'm not going to give her any credit, is a Twitch streamer, YouTuber, and content creator on the fans site. A Reddit post, a video posted shows that she makes fun of this individual's physical appearance. A popular chat website, she calls them disgusting and tells them they look like a reptile. You're fat. You're ugly. Your forehead looks scary. She says, you actually look deformed, and I think your special needs. This person then says that they are on Omegle because they are a celebrity and paid to be there. She continues to call the individual all sorts of names and says that she will not include it in her video because that would get her canceled. Eventually, they ask the individual who remains unidentified if they are wearing a wig and says, take off your wig. They repeatedly yell at the patient, take off your wig. That's embarrassing. Do you have cancer? You're such a loser. You're wearing a wig because you're bald, not the cancer. You have cancer. You're a loser. How pathetic can you be? They continue to berate the individual for the remainder of the video saying, try canceling me and I will literally take your make a wish and all of your cancer money. At the end of the video, the individual says, now we can see how insecure you are. Now, it is my opinion that this person is uh, vile, but also doing this as a shtick. I consumed some of their content. They're not famous enough, by the way, to be, be being paid to be on Omegle. Their YouTube channel is tiny. They did a sorry, I'm sorry apology. This YouTuber has a whopping 2,000 subscribers. They're irrelevant. They talk about being rich all the time. I checked out a few of their videos. They talk mostly about being rich. They don't look rich in any way, shape, or form. Uh, and I tuned into a live stream today in which there was only a couple of hundred people there, maybe two or 300. And curiously, not on Twitch. And everybody in this in this chat is roasting her. I, I don't think she has any genuine fans. There's people in here just report her, report her, deodorant now, ugly, send in the clowns. Your dad threw all your stuff out. I don't know. Her dad makes YouTube videos too, <coughs> apparently. I don't really care. Um, now she continues to berate the individual for the remainder of the video saying, try canceling me, blah, blah, blah. Given that she does a particular kind of work, the possibility exists that the video was staged. Well, that's true for anybody. She, who did not immediately respond to their request for comment, posted a live stream video on YouTube on Sunday titled, I'm sorry. In the video, commenters brought up the Omegle video and said, I'm not going, she said, I'm not going to apologize. I'm not sorry for anything. I can confirm that she did in fact say that. I'm not sorry. I didn't do anything. If you guys really want me to apologize, then I'll do it, but just know it's going to be fake. One Twitter user wrote that you think they think you, I'm sorry, that they don't think you can cancel somebody with 196 followers. Another called her a genuine piece of garbage. Others are attempting to remove her from Twitch. Now, it's entirely possible that this person has been removed from Twitch, uh, but 
I, I don't I'm not sure why this article exists. I suppose some of these live streams around around the uh, controversy is relevant. But if you look at their Twitter feed, everybody stop following fake religions. Convert to Hinduism now. I love what this person is insane. Getting harassed with jealous comments from cancer losers really makes me feel so guilty. I don't think I don't think that this person is genuine or real. Uh, I think that they're probably trying to play a role, and it's really just not working. Uh, like 500 subscribers, hashtag rich, hashtag yas. I think this person is just mentally disturbed and looking for some kind of uh, some kind of attention somewhere. I don't think that they're worth the time. Um, now, I will say this: if they are, if this wasn't fake, right, and if it was real, then this person has deeply rooted mental issues. I'm aware that there's some weird family dynamic where she had some sort of messed up childhood. That certainly could um, explain it. Um, but I don't think anybody... I, I tried consuming a bit of her live stream and it literally made me lose brain cells. Uh, I think she's trying to play a character and she's doing okay at it. But don't fall for it. If she, Here's one of two things. Here's one of two things. If she's playing a character, then she doesn't deserve your attention. And if she's genuinely horrible, then she doesn't deserve your attention. You know who does? Me. Make sure you click that red subscribe button down below and I'll keep reporting on taking out the trash. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.